G'day and welcome back to another review. Today we've got the Mega Blitz Auto Blaster. Um, this is another Anko, I believe. Just using the Anko batteries on the box. Um, basically, I've actually had a bit of fun with these blasters. I managed to convert the previous one, which I just did a video on, the Auto Glass one, and that now take, can take modified Nerf magazines. I do intend to pull it apart and see what I can do with it. The D-Dart Tempers, same brand, is compatible with the well, Rapid Dart Blasters rip-off the D-Dart Tempers as a clone and literally uses the exact cage. Um, but today I've got another one and instead of having a battery harness which is kind of disappointing, this one uses not one, not two, but six double-O batteries. So, two S LiPo's should be a nice little upgrade for this when I get around to doing a rewire. Um, let's get into it. So, a quick look at the box. Comes with 48 darts. Uh, it says Auto Blaster, but what I've noticed is that the Auto with these generally stands for just being flywheel. Whether it's auto or not, I've got no idea. But, a quick look at the back of the box. Um, just the assembly of how to insert the drum, scope, on switch, load with darts, press and hold the accelerator button, and then, and then pull the trigger to fire. So, rev trigger and fire. Alright. Well. Let's get into it. So this, this thing would be fun for a rewire. Whether the cage is going to be compatible with everything, I do not know yet. I'm still stuck somewhere. Uh, Alright, we've got these twisting bloody bits. Is drum free yet? No, I'll be twisting. Alright, give me a sec. Alright, so with the contents of the box, we have drum, 48 full length darts, and the blaster itself. Scope is removable. Um, something I want to note about the scope, which I noticed immediately, is it's exactly the same as the X Shot scope, minus the X Shot branding. But exactly the same all around. There we go. So, not exactly usable, but does look cool. And if you bore the inside out, you can stick flashlights in them. But the disappointing part about that is it means we've got this end strike style rail. Um, just looking for something which is actually end strike around me. No, I don't have anything nearby. Alright. But, so, Picatinny will work, but it will take a couple layers of tape just to help build it up. And you can sort of jam it on there. But, there's that. The detent bit's actually part of the moulding, which is different to our Nerf, does it? Or is it a separate piece? So, drum is just gonna right. 
I thought that was an on-off switch. Um, so push it in on both sides, and that can slide forward. And then insert your drum and bring it back. So that's not too bad, that's pretty cool. Definitely seems like to be able to do a quick swap with the drums. So if you had a couple of these drums lying around, you could definitely take advantage of it. Whether it's going to be compatible with any other any other drum mags, I don't know. Just gonna load in a couple of darts just so we can get a chronograph. And we'll head out and do some ranging. But I'm just going to flip over to the left side and slip some batteries in. So yeah, there, there's the Anko branding. So I can officially confirm that these are uh, Anko Kmart brand, which I've actually had pretty good experience with. I love Anko. A lot of my stuff is Anko around my house. It's cheap, somewhat reliable. Dropping batteries everywhere. So, brand new fresh batteries. So we don't have any stock attachment, no N-Strike stock, no N-Strike mu muzzle or barrel lug. Rest in peace, YouTube coop. Miss you, bro. But that actually sounds kind of nice. And this drum's extremely, extremely smooth. I actually really like that. And the darts aren't slipping out, so that's another good thing. Alright, get my chronograph. Hmm, I didn't get straight through. 73. Sixty-three, forty-five, forty-five, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five. So we're getting low seventies for performance, but that's on par with Nerf. And kind of gives a little bit of potential. Um, yeah. oh, the light's not really getting down there. It's not a gem door. Yeah, something. Fake gem door. Okay, potentially a fake gem door. It's got a wiggle, but it doesn't do anything. Um, so the flywheels themselves do have a little bit of concavity. Um, these ones are smooth, unlike the other auto blaster which Anko did, which are, I can confirm now, are serrated. But let's take it out to the range and bust a couple of shots. Here we are with the Mega Blitz auto blaster drum version. Nice ball mag. About 10 meters. Let's see how she goes.
that is terrible. Alright, coming a little closer to the five meter mark. Oh, we got two in. That's all she wrote. It's kind of fun, but pretty inaccurate. And there you have it. The Mega Blitz Auto Blaster. The Drum Anko 6 AA Blaster. Not bad. Kind of fun. Don't mind it. Will I end up giving this a proper modification? Well, I'd like to. Let's see if I can get add some bits of plastic and see if I can get to be half dark compatible. But it is a bit of a throw which is going to have to go through. But there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and blast on.